Hi everybody, I'm Marissa from ADV Moto and I'm here with Carl who just got back from a recent trip to Italy testing out one of Metzler's new dual sport tires. Uh, Carl, why don't you tell us a little more, more about it? Oh, uh, thanks Marissa. Well, um, this is a brand new entry uh, in, from Metzler. Uh, they currently have the Tourance line, which is more street oriented. And then they have a tire which has been out for a couple of years. Some of us may know that's the Caru 3, which is one of our favorite 50-50 oriented tires. Um, and uh, they brought in the new Metzler Street to kind of fill a very important gap, and I think they really did a good job on it. Mm -hmm. So the Carew 3 versus the new Carew Street, um, what are the major differences there? Well, the Carew 3 uh, was fantastic off-road, like I said. Uh, it had uh, very, very large, very deep lugs. It was almost like a tractor-style tire. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, just with like a lot of those types of tires, once you got above a certain speed, it would start to vibrate. So the Karu streets, one of the biggest differences is the way that the tread pattern has been redesigned. Mm -hmm. One point is, is the new tread patterns are designed for a smoother rolling surface, um, both in the center and out on the edges. Mm -hmm. uh, and especially out on the edges, that's where a lot of the 50-50s start to fall apart. They get a little bit of skittish out there, especially when it's wet or cold, mm -hmm. uh, and you certainly don't want to push it too, too far over on the sides. So the new increased tread pattern has made more of a constant patch. It really doesn't matter what angle you're at. This maximized contact patch uh, also reduces hot spots in the lugs. And what this does is this means that the tire will wear more evenly over time, mm -hmm. as well as uh, hopefully increasing the mileage out of, out of your tire. Uh, last mm -hmm. but not least, um, when the engineers were talking about the design for the new Karu Street, they went with a high silica compound because they wanted to emphasize a wet and dry traction braking and safety. So how did the tires feel in on-road versus off-road conditions? Sure. Well, uh, in on-road, I would say that we tested it in a fairly aggressive street pace up some of the very twisty mountains up to Mount Etna, which is a, still a live volcano. During one section, um, I was riding a Tiger 800 XCA, so that is a front 21-inch wheel, and we were scraping pegs. I think everybody was scraping pegs out of it. Mm -hmm. Um, and then by the end of the trips at some of the stops, pretty much even half into the day, you could see that all of the chicken strips were gone. Mm -hmm. So the confidence out on the very edges uh, is fantastic. Mm -hmm. So it kind of returns some of that sporty fun back to your dual sport and adventure bike. And as far as the handling goes at the front wheel, uh, felt like it was very neutral and quite predictable with uh, no real big surprises when you were turning or kind of leaning in. It didn't want to fall into a turn. Mm -hmm. Off-road... We tested the off-road uh, characteristics of the tires uh, in a couple of different environments. One was some broken roads that were kind of filled with mud and, and, and pools of water. And another one uh, was, which was probably the most fun, was we got a chance to ride up and down some dry riverbeds uh, in Italy. And um, those were pretty much, I mean, of course, you had some streams of water, but you also had a, f uh, had a fair amount of rocks of various sizes, from small to kind of grapefruit-sized mm -hmm. rocks. Uh, and then, of course, sand. Now, how did the tread perform in this? Uh, I would say overall it performed really well. Uh, we didn't see anyone with any problems uh, con dealing with um, uh, spinning tires, lack of traction. It didn't, it didn't pack dirt into the treads. And so the treads have both um, horizontal and vertical grooves built into them. Uh, there are natural limitations to any type of tire like this, and that would be mostly deep mud or clay. Um, but let's be honest, almost any tire, except the most aggressive tires, um, have problems in mud and clay. Mm -hmm. So which bikes will these tires fit? Well, that's one of the other great features about it is they're available in a wide range of sizes to fit a lot of bikes anywhere from 250 out to 1200, uh, 1290. Mm -hmm. So in the back, what you're seeing is uh, size ranges from 130 to 170 in widths. And then in the front, uh, we currently at launch are, uh, can see size ranges from 19 to 21 in the front. But even better, is they've already announced that they're soon going to be offering a wider rear for those guys that have the really big adventure bikes out to 180. Um, but more exciting is the fact that they're going to be bringing out a 17 and 18 inch front, which you can apply onto street bikes, uh, scramblers. So from 17, 18, 19, and 21, there will be a tire option for this. Fantastic. So we've got a wide selection of tire sizes for the Cruise Street. Who do you think would be the most interested in this tire? Oh, sure. Well. We think that this will actually be an attractive option to a majority of adventure and dual sport riders. If you spend most of your time on road, then the Carwood Streets are a fantastic option without having to be afraid of hitting the occasional gravel road, uh, trail, or some things like water crossings. Um, so 
Ultimately, as a summary, when it's compared to a Karu 3 or a type of tire like it, yes, with the Metzler uh, Karu streets, you do give up a little bit of off-road traction, but you gain a whole lot in your on-road as far as wet, dry, cornering, and braking, and everything else. So there we have it, folks, the new Karu street now available from Metzler. Thanks for tuning in to ADV Moto. For more reports, reviews, and news, please be sure to check out AdventureMotorcycle.com. That's right. And in the meantime, ride safe and have fun.